Welcome, as I said, also on my side. Greetings from Italy. Good afternoon, good evening, because I know that several of us are on the, the other side of the Atlantic, so now it's quite uh, evening. But anyway, we try to keep the ACI convention spirit lively, and I will try to be very brief just to show you the results of an investigation we have been performing together uh, with my students, Sri Ram Compella, who is from India, Marta, Fioretti, and my co-worker, Francesco Lomonte, the group of Costantino at University of Naples, and the collaboration of BASF Italy, in order to test the very early age fracture performance of 3D printable fiber reinforced concrete mixes. So I will briefly go toward the statement of the problem, uh, which is the need to provide reinforcement in 3D printed structures, which can be done before, during and after. And I think that throughout this session, we have learned how to do it in different ways. Actually, we are going to focus on uh, fiber reinforced concrete. These are some pictures of the same beam that Costantino has shown. We have focused on a fiber reinforced 3D printable mixes, and we have developed an experimental methodology to characterize the mechanical properties of 3D printable fiber reinforced mortars at very early ages. So it means half an hour, one hour after the uh, water has come into contact with the cement. So after really the very starting contact between the binder and water. Uh, our mixes have been developed through previous studies. The constituents are the user constituents of a mortar, of a uh, 3D printable mix. We have used a powder type super plasticizer. We have used some polypropylene microfibers just to mitigate the shrinkage cracking in different layers. And then we have addressed the possibility to use structural fibers. We have started with polyvinyl alcohol fibers in order also to check their toughness structural effect. We have investigated three different dosages of uh, PVA fibers, 0.46%, 0.8%, and 1%. These are all dosages by volumes. And as you can see, as you go from 0.46% uh, fibers to 0.8% and 1%, you had to adjust the dosage of the super plasticizer to get the consistency, which is necessary for printing. So we also have checked whether this uh, super plasticizer ch change had led to any significant difference in the mechanical performance at very early ages in the mix. We have tested three different times, 30, 60, and 120 minutes, as I said, after the water has come into contact with cement. So, uh, which are the uh, results that we have uh, got? And I will show you the setup a little bit later. Well, these are the results for the plain mortar. As you can see, we have a, a clear evidence of a fluid to solid transition which happens, I will say, between 30 and 6 minutes, but it's very evident when you go from one hour to two hours. As a matter of fact, if you plot the peak tensile strength for the different superplasticizer dosages, uh, you see that it's quite negligible. And you can see an example of a mini slump test, as a matter of fact, uh, where the material being 3D printable does not show any, any loss. Oops. Okay, then when you go with fibers, you can see that once again, there is an evidence of a fluid to solid transition occurring between 30 and six minutes. At six minutes, you can clearly detect a peak tensile strength, which becomes very evident. And you also detect a very evident effect of the fiber dosage at two hours, whereas at 60 minutes, the effect of the fiber dosages is not so evident, probably because the bond is not developing very much. And you can see in the right um, bottom part of the slide, the toughening effect of fibers when you compare the matrix, which is the black curve, with the mix containing the maximum effect of the fibers. With shear test, uh, the shape of the curve requires a little bit, you know, interpretation because uh, it's difficult to highlight a peak, at least for the very early ages, 30 and 60 minutes, whereas it becomes very evident uh, an elastic, I will say, almost perfectly plastic stage after two hours. So if you look at the uh, shear box as it appears during the test, you can see that after 30 minutes, first the inclined shear crack starts developing and they form where there is the first a kink point highlighted by the cross uh, in the bottom left curve, and then you have a shearing off of the ligament cross section. 
the situation uh, becomes uh, even more evident when you go at 60 minutes but when you go at 120 minutes you can see that the stitching effect the sewing effect of the fibers has become so strong because the bond has become good and the tensile strength provided to the mortar has become quite high that the formation of the major inclined crack uh, is is really prevented you have uh, uh, smaller cracks which are diffused so the plastic shearing off effect of the ligament cross section in the shear box test prevails. And I'm going quite slow with slides. I have here a movie, hope that it works. You can see also here the tensile test setup. We have this dog bone sh specimen. One part, the right one in this movie, is uh, fixed and the other one is movable. Obviously, we control it, the mechanism, we calibrated the friction and so on. Actually, this refers to a mix uh, that we are currently testing. We have just restarted our activity after the lockdown for the COVID emergency. In this case, we had steel fibers. But you can see that our uh, deposition in the, in the uh, mold was quite effective also in guaranteeing a, a very good alignment of the fibers, as you can see here. So uh, I, I try to stay into the time allowed for the session and come to the conclusions. What we have done so far has been to develop an experimental methodology to characterize the very early age fracture behavior of 3D printable fiber reinforced mortars. We have been quite able to detect both in tensile and in shear tests a fluid to solid transition. This could be quite important to uh, you know, plan the construction, the printing process, and also to discriminate about the type and dosage of the fibers. What are we going to do? As I said, we have just restarted our activity. We are going to investigate other type of fibers or hybrid fiber reinforcement and correlate the fracture properties with printability parameters and with the rheology of the mix. Uh, also, we want to check the printability, verifying the hardened state performance as correlated also to the development stage of 3D printed structures. And printing the specimens in layers with different time gaps, we are going to check uh, if we can detect, how to say, the layering effect in the development of the overall uh, structural mechanical performance. Uh, just thank you for your attention. And uh, I Put my email here i was lucky instead of the other speakers to read your questions before so if you want to contact me please feel free to send me an email and thank you very much again for attending the wall session and for the speaker especially the european like me for staying here uh during this evening thanks a lot